Sports has always been about more than a final score. Nobody knows that better than the man refereeing this game in Maple Valley. I just want people to learn how to respect other culture and how to respect the game. 20 years ago, Nikki Salaku was the American Samoa goaltender who experienced embarrassment on a global scale when his team lost to Australia 31 to zero. Looking back, it was a disaster. <laughs> Looking back, it was like, it's a very sad day for us. Nikki thought about quitting the sport, but instead, as the documentary Next Goal Wins shows, he became captain of the team, a warrior determined to use the most humiliating day of his life as motivation. We need to put this whole 31-0 behind us, and then we just get to move forward. We just want to score one goal, one goal to, to make the difference, to tell the world that we love football. Now Next Goal Wins is the name of a major motion picture with a star-studded cast. This story of Nikki's team will serve as inspiration for generations to come. I see a bunch of guys in that team who've got more heart and are dreaming bigger than nearly any of the jaded fools that mess around the pro league for money they don't deserve. The movie passes on some of the same life lessons Nicky has taught his son Dylan, a center back for Tumwater High School, who refuses to take it easy on his now 40-something-year-old dad. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> Especially in our culture, it's a lot about respect. You always learn from the game that you lost, and you bring it back to the next. Life is full of challenges, and you can't win them all. Be smart here, be smart here. But a game can teach its players composure, resiliency, and mutual respect. It's all about passion. It's all about love. The final score is only some numbers. You gotta show a lot of respect.